So why did we go with bivalent vaccines, meaning why do we update our vaccination dose with use of two different variants of spike protein as opposed to just updating the vaccine with the latest Omicron variant, which is what we kind of do typically do with the flu shots. So what was the premise behind that? So that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. This was actually a very difficult question to answer scientifically. I've been searching for information on this for a while. And I think I finally have something that I can present to you. My name is Dr. Mikola Rashik of Merit Genomics and let's get started. So as I mentioned, typically when we update vaccines, seasonal vaccines for flu, we just update with the latest variant. So why do we go with two different strains? And uh, the answer for, for that was somewhat surprising and unusual. And the first information that I was able to find on this topic was, was that the animal studies. So when, when mice were being injected with, with just the Omicron variant, mRNA shots, these mice, their immunological response was actually worse than if mice were injected with the original variant. Not only did they produce lower amounts of antibodies as a consequence of vaccine that was purely just the Omicron, latest Omicron variant, they also did not neutralize the virus as a Effectively. If you want to learn more about neutralization of the virus and how we measure antibody titers with these tests, please check out the last video on this topic where I explain how, how these assays actually work. So that was a bit of a surprise that the original variant, the one that started the pandemic, that mice vaccinated against that did better, including against Omicron infection, than mice that were immunized with the Omicron variant as a vaccination. Now we also know already from humans that those who are in injected with the original strain, they still have certain neutralizing capacity against the latest Omicron variants. It's just not as good at neutralizing Omicron as it is at neutralizing older variants. So what it means is that the efficacy of the vaccine is constantly being reduced with subsequent production of the latest variant by this ever-evolving virus. So the goal was, hey, can we update this? But the animal studies hinted that for whatever reason, Omicron on its own does not produce the same quality of immunological response as the original variant. Meaning, somehow, the way Omicron has, has evolved when you induce the immunological response against Omicron, if you're infected with the Omicron for the very first time, the antibodies you produce are actually not as good at stopping Omicron infection as the antibodies that were induced to be produced by the original variant. And hence, this led to the concept, well, let's use bivalent vaccine because we already know that the original strain can actually produce some results and can we then stimulate the immune system just a little bit more to maybe also enhance the, pro the antibodies against the latest version of Omicron to boost that immunological response. Please check out the last video on whether we succeeded with that or not. Uh, but that was the premise behind that. Now, this is based on animals. Do we have any information with regards to human data that might actually support this. And believe it or not, yes, we do. And, and this data comes from Qatar. Qatar is interesting in that Qatar continues to do mass testing of their population. In fact, that's how they still discover their infections is from because of this mass testing of the population, not because of symptoms, because now many people who are infected are asymptomatic. So that we're, many of us might be spreading the virus around without even knowing we're infected. So this way, they were able to look at the immunological history and believe it or not, they were able to find individuals who were either vaccinated or unvaccinated who have never been infected. And their very first infection they experienced, according to the records, was the Omicron. 
And what they looked at this, they compared up to 57,000 individuals that were unvaccinated and who were infected for the very first time with Omicron. So it's the Omicron that was imprinting its immunological response in, this indivi in those individuals. So the natural immunological response for the very first time apparently was to the Omicron. And they compared it to the individuals who were already vaccinated with two doses of, of mRNA vaccines and they were actually infected finally for the first time with Omicron as well. And they matched them for age, they matched them for for a, uh, gender obviously, and they even matched them for the date of infection. And they were able to match up to 57,000 individuals like that and look at the responses. And what they were able to show is to see how likely these individuals were to be reinfected six months later by a later version of Omicron. So this would be BA4, BA5, and so on. And they were able to show that the unvaccinated individuals who were infected and imprinted for the very first time with Omicron were more than twice as likely to be reinfected by the future Omicron than the vaccinated individuals. Now, this is somewhat in contrast to the information I've been telling you lately, where in comparison to unvaccinated, unvaccinated individuals, those who are vaccinated after multiple months they start to experience negative vaccine efficacy, meaning they are more likely to be infected. But, of course, most of those unvaccinated individuals would have been already infected with other variants. So you can see how poor Omicron is in these individuals who have never been vaccinated to produce quality immunological response. But it gets even more interesting. So all of this has to do with imprinting. This is why we had to go with the bivalent vaccines because how the vaccination or natural infection imprints your immune system to respond in the future is very different if it's Omicron than if it was original strain. And what imprinting is, which is also called original antigenic sin, is basically programming of your immune system to always respond with the same battery of, army of antibodies no matter what your future reinfection will be depending no matter what the variant will be you've been programmed to respond in a specific way now this programming obviously can be influenced to some degree and this this author study from Qatar actually showed that because here's the wild finding is that individuals who were injected with three doses of mRNA vaccines in comparison to those with two doses, they lost that protection from reinfection and they were just as likely, those who had three doses of mRNA vaccines, to be reinfected in the future by Omicron as the unvaccinated who were infected for the first time by earlier version of Omicron. So for some reason, the third dose was changing the imprinting capacity of those individuals. So their ability to be reinfected was now comparable to those who were unvaccinated. Now, the same authors also looked at in another paper, just the unvaccinated individuals, and they showed that in comparison to the unvaccinated who previously been infected by any other variant prior to Omicron, their protection actually against reinfection was just as good as those who were vaccinated with two doses. So once again, it shows you that natural immunity is good if you were infected by other variant, by variant other than Omicron. And for whatever reason, the imprinting that Omicron causes, the immunological response is just not as good of a quality. So you're more likely to be reinfected if you just been programmed by Omicron. So very, very interesting information it shows you that imprinting has a big role imprinting will be something that we'll be hearing i think now often uh, from now on again this is also called original antigenic sin because we're clearly discovering that it's playing massive influence in how likely we are to be reinfected in the future by the ever evolving variants of the sars-cov-2 virus and this is the reason why we had to consider using bivalent vaccines 
that in a hope that hey if this omicron updated version did not work at least the dose from the original strain would help in terms of boosting your neutralizing antibody capacity against the omicron variants so uh, as i mentioned i've already talked about some of the results in my last video so please check it out as well that's all i have for you today so thank you for for uh, enjoying this channel thank you for supporting this channel please subscribe if you haven't already please share the video this is, this is obviously a big one thank you for joining me for these nature walks clearly what i'm trying to to convey here is get out into nature as much as possible because this is one of the ways that i'm promoting how we can boost our immune systems in in these difficult challenging times where we are under constant attack from this ever evolving virus and as i already mentioned many of us can be infected without even knowing because we will not even produce any symptoms and uh we just wanted to remind you we have another covid q a coming up Please subscribe to the newsletter. The link to the subscription is in the description below. First time people who subscribe, I post this video, will send you free tickets. If you're already a subscriber and you never managed to get a ticket, please let us know. And these are a lot of fun. So I look forward to seeing some of you over there and uh, see you in the next installment of our video. Bye everyone.